As most of you know, I've been pretty much talking about alt store like crazy. It is literally one of my favorite things to talk about right now because it has endless possibilities and you may have just been following one of my tutorials or somebody else's and you may have seen your phone randomly gave you that pop up of saying, you know, it couldn't find the alt store, couldn't find the alt server, whatever that specific term thing is they come up with. And this is actually a really, really easy fix. But all you want to do is determine whether you're around your computer that you have access to or not. If you're away from your specific device that has the alt store installed into it, this could be the problem because if you don't have access to that computer and if you don't have alt store running on it and the mail app open, then you're not actually going to be able to go and actually install those apps without actually having access to that computer and knowing that the alt server and the alt store app and the mail app are open. So that's the very first thing. And you may have even left your computer and your computer may have even restarted and you may have not even known it and the alt store is still not running. So these these are little tiny things basically to kind of combine into the main issue that just means your alt store is just not running on your computer. So that's the very first thing you need to fix. If your alt store is running, it may not be connected to the Wi-Fi. That's the next thing. You want to make sure that your computer that you're actually having the alt store running on and the alt server running on, you want to make sure that it has access to a network. If it doesn't, then it has no way to actually communicate to your device. Maybe there is a way if you can plug it in and then maybe, maybe go through there. I don't know. But you're going to have to make sure that the alt store and the alt server both and the email app, though all three of those things are running on your phone, your computer, in order for you to actually install these things. Now, that's the very first thing in the three things that I mentioned. If you have an Apple ID logged into your device that is different, aka on the Alt Store app, if your you know phone has a different Apple ID, then that's fine. But if within the Alt Store app in the settings panel of the Alt Store app, if you have a different Apple ID in there than you do have assigned onto your Alt server, this can also cause some problems from what I've seen. So it's good to have both those things synced up and pretty much kind of go on from there. It's not always going to be the case, but from what I've seen, that actually causes some problems sometimes times too. So that's pretty much how to fix those specific issues with the alt store. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to the